You think you're washing your face clean enough, but you're not, okay? You have to have a regimen because there's certain things that you have to use in order to control that oily skin. Not eliminate it completely, but control it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's get into what this video is about. So I kind of wanted to um, talk about oily skin because I have oily skin. There's so many people that I know um, around me that has oily skin and I can't think of something that's more annoying than looking like a grease face or grease ball at the end of the day. Like it's, I, I hate it. I hate it so much. I do research before I test anything out. I do research before I purchase things and you know, try to bring them to you. I first look them up, I read about it, I see what's best for the skin and, and so so on and so forth. So exfoliant. Now I do wanna recommend an exfoliant being used at least once a week, especially this one that I have here um, because it basically has salicylic acid in there which is also the product. Um, salicylic acid is also in the astringent and some of them, most of them, basically all of them. <laughs> um, and when you're using two products that have salicylic acid it in there it would actually do a little bit more damage than good to your skin so you don't want to use them on an everyday basis so an exfoliant is basically would probably be for um, once a week if it does have that acid um, product in there okay so um, let me go ahead and show you what I have and the regimen that I've been using and basically what each and every single one of them do for you okay so, um, like I mentioned before, the exfoliant that I use that I mentioned in one of my other videos is the St. Ives, and this is the Apricot Scrub. Um, let's just ignore the fact that it's almost done. <laughs> but um, this has salicylic acid in there. Um, it's sulfate-free, um, paraben-free. This is basically blemish control. This has salicylic acid of actually 2%. So this is actually... Um, not for sensitive skin. The ones for sensitive skin is normally 0.5%. So if you're not someone that, if you're somebody that if when you use certain products, it burns your face pretty quickly, you don't want to grab something that's 2% with the acid in there because it will burn you up. Okay. What I use um, to actually transfer all of this glorious goodness all over my face is basically my face scrub brush. Um, this was also in another one of my videos. This is what I got from a website called um, nomorechoxy.com. Um, this was actually $16 when I purchased it. I believe on the website right now it's either a dollar higher or a dollar lower. I don't remember. But um, this is basically, basically what it looks like. This is what it is on high. It's controlled by batteries, by the way. And this is the low setting, which is not that different this is what it looks like on the face and then the off button okay so moving on to my actual cleansers now the cleansers that I use in the morning and the night is basically from clean and clear this one is the morning burst this one is strictly for morning and this one is the one for night now you don't have to go out and get something one for morning one for night um, this I just figured I'll just get this package because I mean heck why not it's one for morning one for night but anyway um <laughs> so this together it came in a package just like this and it was eight dollars and forty seven cents I believe um, and this is pretty this is really really good it feels amazing on the skin um, this one has some beads in there it says that it's oil free and that's another thing um, if you're somebody with oily skin you don't want to use anything that has oil based products in there all I have in my morning burst is just basically the vitamin C and the ginseng and then in this one it's just the C minerals and the C kelp extract but what I can say are these are phenomenal when using as cleansers. They are so smooth to the skin. Um, you can probably use these with the brushes as well, but um, these are great. So moving along is basically every oily skin person <laughs> should use an astringent on their face. Now this astringent that I have here is the Clean and Clear. It's the um, deep cleansing astringent with salicylic acid of 2%. So this is not for sensitive skin. Um, I will say that I started out using this um, every morning and every night then I went to using it every day just once a day and then I went to using it every other day and I'm satisfied with the every other day mainly because um, this is pretty strong it says that it treats and helps and prevents pimples and um, like I said you can look at this as basically like an alcohol but safe for the skin 
where when you basically put it on, it cleans deep into your pores and then it dries it out. So this is a drying substance for your face. So you definitely don't want to skip the moisturizer, but we're not there yet. The next thing that you must use on your face every single day, morning and night, I use this. And this has nothing in there that makes your face feel, you know, alcoholic. It's nothing like that. I, I would think it was water if it didn't actually have a scent to it. Like that's how soft it is on the face. Um, this is actually Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel. It's a pore perfecting toner. It's fragrance free. It's actually dripping all over me actually. Um, it says that it gently cleanses and conditions pores to maintain clear, smooth, and balanced skin without over drying. It's 100% all natural, which is awesome. I love that. This is what the bottle looks like. And um, it basically has in there, let me see. All the ingredients that it has is distilled witch hazel. Um, it contains natural grain alcohol, 14%, and um, witch hazel extract. The very last step is basically moisturizing the skin. Now, a lot of people that has oily skin, they tend to think that, okay, well, you know, if I don't put, you know, um, moisturizer on my face, then I won't have the issue of having oily skin at the end of the day. And that's actually a lie, okay, because when you don't put moisturizer back into your face after drying it out with all these products, what the glands in your face actually do is it tends to overproduce more oil than it would actually do normally. <clears throat> so without moisturizing your face, you're actually creating more oil to come onto the face. So as a... As somebody that has oily skin, one of the things that you want to do is make sure that you have a moisturizer that's basically oil free. Now this was one of the <clears throat> moisturizers that I got and I love this stuff. When I tell you, like this thing is, this thing is the bomb, okay? This is the Garnier. It's called the Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. It's for normal to combination skin um, <clears throat> and this is also water based. Once you're finished putting this moisturizer on your face, you do not have an oily finished look. Um, after massaging it and allowing it to dry, um, it just basically gives you, it makes your face look moisturized, but without the shine. Like, it's amazing. And if it makes you feel more comfortable, after putting the moisturizer on your face, you can get a napkin and just dab your face, just to get whatever is on the surface of it, that excess on the surface. But oil free all the way. I love it. What I have noticed with washing and cleansing my face every day is after I use the cleanser, you know, on my face, I feel like my face is clean. Like I moisturize it deep into my face. I wash my face off. My face feels soft and just glossy. It's just, it's beautiful, right? I think it's clean, but then I go for the extringent or I go for the toner with a cotton ball and I use all over my face and I still see dirt. Like it's, it's, it's amazing. I'm telling you. Okay guys, so that's all that I have to show you and that's all that I have to share with you in order to control your oily skin. Now it worked for me so I'm hoping that it will work for you as well. Um, if you have any ideas or any products that you use that you really really like you can leave them down below so that you can share with everybody else. If you really liked what I shared here today go ahead and don't forget to thumbs up this video as well as subscribe if you have not done so already. And also the new people that have subscribed to my video I just wanted to say hey. I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you all. Bye.